Hi guys, this is an episode about a young entrepreneur who followed his passion and now one of the top coffee and beverage consultants in the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Pao Abiyog. Hey, we're here at the uh, United Launch. <laughs> certain kind of uh, discipline process talaga dun sa we call it routine routine yeah it's a routine, it's a routine. so okay. it's something that you have to do each and every time for like if you can do it like 100 percent then yeah but there's a like formula on each ano diba in each yes. coffee product yeah. so that that was the time that i started to think of innovating innovating with the coffee yeah. of market and then i had this edge of making the signature beverage since the time for culinary. I do hot kitchen, I do pastry, I make cake, so on. Okay. And I was like, okay, like, this is some cool stuff. I can mix flavors with, with the coffee. So the concept that I came up with when I entered my first competition in uh, August. Yeah. Okay. August. So but if I get you right, your initial motivation really is to compete. Yeah, before, because right. I'm an athlete. Back oh. in my high school days, I used to be an MVP of what, what sport? In, uh, in volleyball. Ah, yeah. So, can you talk about um, how did you get into the the services uh, part? Into the services, oh. yes. So, upon being a uh, competitor in research, uh, research competition, so I won two national championships in the Philippines, 2012 and 2013. And then I've been a participant in the ASEAN Research Championship back in 2012 as well. So, after that, after I graduated, 2014, I tried to work full time as a barista, but on a specialty cafe, mm -hmm. like a different segment of coffee chain compared to Starbucks and so on. Like we do coffee with science. But this is basically. local, local. Uh, yes, this is a local brand. company. Yes. And then after that, uh, after I after I left my job, I was thinking, what's the next move? Like I cannot be a barista for for the for the longest time of my life. I mean, I want to move on to something. Mm -hmm. So I was like. Since like called to Palani, especially cafe, maybe I can try to do some consultations. Mm, okay, okay. 
And then for the things that I have background in culinary, I have background in mixology since that he also studied that. And then now that I have my uh, I have my credentials in coffee, I think that's a good combination. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'm I'm up to it. Okay. I didn't find one. Okay. And I was like, who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who cares? Like today is a very innovative world. So yeah. the target market here is actually that there are three target markets. Number one are the like individuals or maybe someone who's into the business who wants to operate a specialty cafe. Specialty cafe, yeah. 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 Or even okay. a commercial cafe because I'm open to, you know, both opportunities. Okay. Second are the restaurants who are mm. serving coffee. Okay. Third is actually hotels. Mm, interesting. So how do you find uh, clients? Clients, uh, referrals. Okay, word of mouth. I uh, I actually capitalized my <laughs> my uh, what they call this my profile in LinkedIn. Okay. But then before I started LinkedIn, it was just like referrals or someone someone that I know a friend of a friend. So what's your like um, uh, year on year plan uh, mm -hmm. moving forward? Uh, do you see this as a you know um, a, corpor a big corporation after five ten years? Or do you prefer being like this mm -hmm. Muna in the next five years? What's your plan? Okay, so actually that's why I capitalized my profile in LinkedIn is to look for international partners. Last year, uh, I someone from uh, from Europe messaged me, he's a user. Okay. He, he has a starting company, like two years by, by that time. He's looking for a knowledgeable coffee professional who can do a video, mm. video tutorial for him. Oh, nice. So, so uh, I was like, why don't we make an interactive video? Like, okay, hey, I'm Pao. I'm from uh, Slumber Chat Coffee. So I will be teaching you how to make an espresso. Mm -hmm. So these are the tools and equipment that you're going to need. Mm -hmm. This, 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 and everything. And then for this uh, for this recipe, I'm going to use this, this. And then the, the video became interactive. It became user-friendly. So everyone who's going to watch it can relate to, okay, so that's how we do it. Sure, it's you're not the only one who's an expert in uh, coffee or a coffee mm -hmm. consultant. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think is your difference with other uh, consultants like uh, like you? Uh, number one is my edge in culinary. Okay. Of course, uh, that's a big thing. That's a big ah, factor. Ah, because you know, they're, they're shooting coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Or some of them might be on a different field, mm -hmm. but then they know coffee. But then for me, it's a complete package when you get someone who knows how to cook, mm -hmm. who has experience in a hotel, in a, in a massive production, even in college days in USC, like I experienced massive production. And then I know a little bit about the mixology as well. Okay. And then someone who has credentials in coffee, and someone who is uh, well articulated and well connected in the in the coffee industry, not just uh, locally. Yeah. But um, well, coffee kasi is ano, interesting kasi I've read, uh, I've read the history of Starbucks. Uh, yeah, very, Howard Jones. Yeah, very interesting yung kanyang, uh, yung papano siya nag-start and all that. Ano. And I think, um, ang dami na rin pumasok ng mga brands, diba? Sa, sa coffee, you know? What do you think is the next, ano, parang uh, disruptive na, na darating for coffee, you know? Kasi ngayon, parang I feel na, ano na siya, uh, established na yung brand, yung brand. Um, I don't know if you can call it na saturated na ba yung market, I don't know. So can you, can you enlighten me sa, sa future ng coffee? Saturation of coffee actually is a good topic. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to divide kasi the coffee industry into three different parts eh, okay. for us to understand it better. Yeah, we have sure. the first, second, and third wave. Okay. First wave, these are the instant coffees, oh, yeah, like instant, uh, yeah. the Nescafe, Vultures, and so on. Yeah. So everyone can buy it in the grocery. That's a good Yeah, yeah. Uh, Second wave is Starbucks, CBDL, and so on. So these yeah. are the big chains of companies. They actually started the term single origin coffees. Mm -hmm. Single origin coffees pertains to a region where the coffee was harvested. For example, from Brazil. Mm -hmm. So, makikita mo sometimes in Starbucks, they have the Ethiopia, the Brazil, yeah. the Colombia. So, those are the single origin coffees. Pero, the single origin coffees is coming from a wider scope in terms of dun sa buong region itself. Mm -hmm. With the third wave, the difference is that we became more particular about the coffees, uh, coffees uh, quality. 
Now then, from the single origin, we have the microlots. The microlots is, for example, from, from Brazil. Now we are getting this coffee from Oberon, from Oberon region, and then from a specific farm in Oberon. Mm -hmm. So the complete traceability of the coffee. Mm -hmm. So now then, from there, we are going to uh, study what are the varieties of the Arabicas, because we have more than 2,000 varieties of Arabica. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So the varieties, the processing, and uh, like, is it washed, is it wet, is it hybrid? And then how long it was uh, been fermented, how long it was conception, so right. second and third wave. But then technically, see third wave is more sophisticated in terms of the craftsmanship, yeah, yeah. And how they how they roast the coffee, mm. and especially how they brew the coffee. Mm. What do you think is the next uh, innovative uh, uh, product that are think, uh, coffee wise? Like right now, the trend is in the cold brewing of coffee. Ah, okay. I say cold brewing is very essential in a sense that you can make it ahead of time. If you want coffee, so what's the what for you? What's the best coffee? There's no such thing as best coffee okay. actually. Okay. I say it's subjective and it's subjective. Yeah. It's subjective in competition. It's subjective on an everyday basis. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like beauty. The best your mood. Yeah. Like yeah. today, I I brew the Kenyan coffee SL twenty eight. This is uh, from Kenya. This is Grignada, the Brazilian coffee. Yeah, yeah. So, it depends on the interesting. Uh, at least, uh, sa bahay, I only drink uh, Folgers. Ah, uh, Folgers. And then, yeah. pag sa office, Starbucks, ang ah. gano'n to. Pero, I can appreciate uh, my specialty coffee. Yeah. I can appreciate that.